Recent boom in AI, clean technology, and crypto all fueling an unprecedented demand for power. And utility companies are frankly having a hard time keeping up with it. According to the International Edge Energy Agency, global electricity demand from AI is expected to jump tenfold between 2022 and just 2026, and this number is expected to grow in the coming years. Our next guest says his company can help meet demand. Its first next-generation nuclear plant is called Natrium and is about to break ground in Wyoming in June. Chris Levesque is the president and CEO of TerraPower. Chris, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So you me. will break ground on what ultimately will be a next-gen nuclear plant. Uh, th how long is it going to take? What kind of permitting do you need, and how soon do you think you can get it? Sure. Uh, that first plant, Natrium, is actually going to be America's next nuclear power plant. Uh, just last month, we submitted our construction permit application to the NRC. It's the only one in front of the NRC. Um, and when we received that permission from the NRC to start nuclear construction in 2026, that will then start a three-year construction process. But um, we can start the non-nuclear parts of the facility now, and, and this June we'll be beginning um, the construction of the, the turbine and the electrical production facility um, at the site of a retiring coal plant, in fact, in, in Wyoming. So it's in Wyoming, and ultimately, when it comes online, what sort of regional footprint will it serve? How many people? Yeah, um, so it, it, at 345 megawatts, it's enough to serve about 400,000 rate payers. But, uh, you know, as you've been mentioned in your earlier segment, we're, we're really thinking about the data center demand, which is going to be immense. Um, you know, nuclear energy is 20 percent of the nation's electricity supply today, but we built very few new nuclear plants. Very and few. That's right. That's right. And when how when, many, in fact, actually, in the last 30 years uh, in, in the U.S., only uh, two new plants have gone online, really. And, you know, when Bill Gates, our, our chairman, created the company over 15 years ago, he recognized that, hey, nuclear energy is really valuable, but if, if we're going to deploy it massively the way we need to, we need to move to the next technology. Today's, today's reactors in the U.S. are based on very old technology. So this, this is a field we needed innovation. So that was one of the things I wanted to ask you about. A, a typical nuclear plant that I think of, the reactors are cooled with water. This will be cooled with Cooled with sodium. Uh, the name of the reactor is natrium, which means sodium in, in Latin. And um, an advanced reactor like this is going to have new benefits. It, it's going to be cheaper. Um, it's going to be safer. Today's reactors, I want to be clear, are very safe, but uh, natrium will be that next level of safety. And it's going to let you use the plant in a totally different way because uh, natrium has built-in energy storage, and it's going to let you change power quickly when demand changes throughout the day or if the wind or the sun are curtailed throughout when the day. When I think of sodium, I think of what I put on my steak, uh, <laughs> mineral sodium. This is liquid sodium? Yeah, on your steak is sodium chloride, remember, right. salt. And yeah. this is the liquid metal sodium, which melts at a very low temperature, and it, it flows like water. And it, it allows you to have a very low-pressure plant, which will be um, a lighter plant with lighter components, and that's what makes it cheaper. Where does that, where does that cooling waste go once it has done its job? Yeah, so, How do you dispose of it? Yeah, so um, the used fuel, as we call it, um, is eventually going to a geologic disposal facility in, in the ground, and, and the U.S. government has responsibility to create a facility like that. So the plan for natrium's used fuel is, is the same plan as the used fuel for those uh, 93 reactors that are operating in the U.S. today, which is um, geologic disposal. And that's very safe. And, and the other thing to realize about it, it, it's a very small volume of used fuel. So the nuclear energy is powered, you know, 20 percent. What, yeah. what if the political winds shift? Is that a risk to this project and to your enterprise? Uh, I don't think so, because uh, one thing about nuclear energy today, and, and this is in the last five to six years is so different than its history, is, is we have bipartisan support for nuclear energy. And, and different folks support nuclear for different reasons. We, we have a lot of young liberal folks who work for our company because they really are concerned about climate change. Uh, more conservative folks are interested in nuclear for its energy security value. And, and we are in a competition with China and Russia for nuclear technology. Chris Lebeck, we uh, have to leave it there. Terra Power, we appreciate it. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for your time.